I left and went to my mom's to sleep somewhere comfortable and cool. And I went back to check on my apartment this morning and I had an eviction notice on my door. And what did that eviction notice say? It said, because I came on the news, <laughs> um, he doesn't want me to stay on his premises anymore. I have 14 days to move out. First, no AC, now no apartment. Kia Parker is having to look for somewhere else to live, something she was not prepared for. It's the deposits, the rent, I mean, the moving truck, all that stuff, it, it costs money. We spoke with state rep Mickey Dollins, who says this is a case of retaliation by the landlord. This lady did nothing wrong. She, in fact, just wanted her air conditioner fixed. Went on the news and then her landlord retaliated against her. He adds that the landlord has also violated the Oklahoma Landlord Tenants Act. I would say also that the fact that this landlord only gave her 14 days is a violation of the landlord tenant debt. He has to give her at least 30 days, so it sounds like this landlord is setting himself up for a pretty substantial lawsuit. However, we spoke with the landlord today, and he says not everything Kia Parker has said has been true. First of all, she said it was out for four or five days. That was untrue. She called me on a Sunday at 2 and I got proof. The proof being he had someone over during the phone call. While he says he doesn't know if the AC was out before that, that was the first time she contacted him about it. I said, I'll call a repairman tomorrow. She said, OK, they got jobs to do. They're not going to drop other people's jobs and come and do one for me. But I appreciate him coming in two days. That's, that's the best I could do. That repairman, though? will be too little, too late. The eviction notice still stands, and Kia says she's already started looking for a new place. I'm sorry that you mad that I said something to the news about it, but you wasn't picking up your phone for me anymore. Kia's not the first person to reach out to us about air conditioner problems during this heat wave. And if you'd like to learn more about your rights as a renter, we have that in the web version of this story at KFOR.com.